Welcome to Wizard's World. Yes, Wizard's World. No swinging clubs for him today. He's not doing well that way. No gloves. But um, he's been asked to make a video showing uh, how to put a how to how to do what we do on Discord. Uh, how we put together our streams and uh, you know send them to YouTube and and what have you. So. Uh, uh, Wizard's gonna go ahead and put together a scene, like as if you're, uh, as you're gonna stream something to YouTube or, or Twitch, whatever you want. And, and so give his haters, you know, ask, well, Eskimo's not a big hater, but Table Captain and DG1983, it'll give them something to do. They can give me a thumbs down on the video. However, I think this will be real helpful for uh, a lot of you guys coming into uh, golf simulation that want to start streaming matches and. Uh, uh, what have you? But on Discord, uh, we we do a lot of live matches, and it's it's fun. It's 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 cool, and uh, you can watch some matches. And uh, let's just uh, go through this real quick and show you how how I put together uh, a scene. So I uh, use Open Broadcast uh, Open Broadcaster software. It's free. OBS Studio. Uh, you can download that and. Um, you know, it might seem a little difficult in the beginning, but it's really pretty simple. And I'm sure there's a lot of things I don't do right, and there's things I'm always learning. Uh, so let's go ahead and move forward with this. A um, few things you got to have opened up. Let's say I've got GSX opened up. That's, you know, I use a GC2, so that kind of shows all my numbers for my shots. Table Captain likes to see that on the screen. He's, he's always trying to call you out as a cheat, and he thinks that. Uh, he can figure it out quicker that way, uh, whether you're cheating or not. But I hate to tell him most of the time he's, he's kind of wrong on that. But he has fun with it, calling people out, especially Wizard. So we'll put that up on the screen. Now, you're not going to minimize it or hide it. You're going to have to keep it on here. Uh, and then let's open up the golf club. Now, of course, if you sit here too long, I believe Metallo Wedge said if you sit here for like 90 seconds, that's when the game resets and you lose your profile and your golf attire and everything. So you want to chill there too long, uh, kind of get it opened up. You don't want to sit on these screens. You're going to want to tap on through it. What you want to do is boost right on through this stuff. Boost is legal, 5%, up to 5%. You boost right on through it and see you still got your nice cool shorts, shoes, cap, your attire is there. You know, your Wizard of Cos Noonan emblem on your shirt. It's beautiful. So anyway, uh, just getting this all set up so it'll make more sense. We're going to go to the Open Broadcaster software, OBS, and let's put together a scene. This one over here in Scenes, you just make a scene. I labeled this one YouTube because we're going to go ahead and put this on YouTube to help you out. But I have multiple scenes. Man, I have a ton. I've got golf streaming. It's already here. I've got range work. I've got where I broadcast stuff. I've got pictures. I can commentate. I can pull somebody's stream up and put my picture on it and talk to them. Talk about what they're doing. Uh, that's my Discord video. I set up one of those where I've got uh, where I've got the image of. Um, my competitor and myself. Uh, you can make it with four players, which I'll show you that too in part two. But anyway, this is, uh, let's just put this baby together. So we're here, we've got a scene, we called it YouTube. You could call it your stream. Always want to have sound, so I always put in my um, device. So we've got my Yeti. So right down there it goes. Uh, you want to have the game, so game capture is good. Now, if you don't have it, you, you look for it up here. What you do is you kind of pull up, you go to mode, capture specific window, and then look for the window. And right here it says the golf club. And that's what you tap and you'd make it. But since I already have it, I don't really want to add, add another one, but that's what you, you do for all of them actually. You go and search for your camera, search for the game, search for whatever window you want. So let's go here and we're going to go game capture. Existing because I've already got it captured. Boom, there it goes. If you want to lock it in place so you can move it, you can make it different sizes. If you want to lock it in place, right next to it you got lock. 
click it, now I can't move it. If it happened to be off and not on, it wasn't coming up, you could hit the eye, it turns it off, bring it back, kind of thing. So anyway, now you've got your game ready for stream. But you want to pull up other stuff. So that was game capture. Now let's do, uh, I do window capture. I don't know if it's best or not to do that. But if I'm going to go under window capture, I'm going to go to add existing window capture, GSX. And there you go, you got your GSX. Now, right in here is the numbers. You don't need all this space up here, all this space down here. Now, you can grab a little square in the corner, you can make it small, you can make it big, but you still have all that wasted space you don't want. If you happen to hold the Alt button in on your keyboard and then grab the square, you can actually just keep the parts you want. So keeping the Alt button in and then drawing all the edges to where you want. Now you can place your GSX wherever you want. And uh, that's it. Pretty, pretty easy. What else do we need? We need a camera. So let's go video capture device. And again, you can go look for your camera, create new and name it. But I already have it. I use the Gaten uh, Monochrome. So we can go ahead and pull that up. And again, it's, it's bigger than I want. So we can just make it whatever size we want. We can put her in there, and if we don't want to have to, you know, accidentally move it, you can just lock it in place. You can hit the eye, turn it off, turn it on, and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, once you got all this set and you're ready to play a match, you can just kind of, you can start a live stream right over on the bottom right-hand corner here, or you can start a recording. Uh, if you start a recording, you'll have it in your recorded uh, video file, and you can then just down or drop it into your YouTube to stream it later or you can stream it live so I think that's pretty much end of part one and then uh, the next two parts will be uh, uh, the video using discord and, and using the video there to get your competitor on stream for a stream and then on top replica but all of this I, I learned from HT dumps he's amazing very helpful always out there to help you out and Inorco gave me the okay to go ahead and try to duplicate his video of doing the discord video uh, and Inorco has been awesome very helpful too I don't know if I'm leaving anybody out of here um, I think that's I think that's it I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody uh, anyhow pretty simple to set it up uh, and it does you can do so much more I mean you can add ticker tape at the bottom if you're playing a match and you want to keep you want to keep uh, you know keep the score going so people know who's up in a match you just go to text and you pick you know like here I've got already one existing please subscribe and then you get a tape you can mess around with and make it fit. Uh, again, if you did hold alt, you can get it to the size you want, drop it in there. Properties, it comes up like this. So, you know, say Wizard was playing table captain and it needs to the, I don't know. 10th hole and he's won 10 holes, right? I guess he'd, if he's won the first 10 holes against table captain, he'd be up 10 with 8 to go. So you just put uh, wins 10 and 8. When you do that, you can look up here and it's already there. And of course you can see that uh, but yeah you can Wizard of Cos wins 10 and 8 over 
How about VG1983 in true sim? Now that's classic. How about in J Wheels True Sim? Now that's a beatdown. Wins 10 and 8 over DG1983 and J Wheels True Sim. Now that's a beautiful thing. Anyhow, that's it. I think I'll check out of this one right now and we'll go ahead and uh, move over to the next uh, part two.